the seven year itch, what it is and how to overcome it. My name is Coach Adrian, and I am a relationship coach, and I've dedicated my entire life helping people find happiness in their relationships. For many years, my colleague Coach Natalie and I were actually helping people to get back together after a separation or a divorce. But we wanted to really truly help a lot more people, and we wanted to help people all over the world in breakup prevention. Not only so that you don't break up with your significant other or with your husband or wife, but so that you can live out the relationship of your dreams. And in this video, I would like to talk about the seven-year itch. What is the seven-year itch? It is when a relationship starts to plateau after about seven years. You know the feeling. You start to take each other for granted and you settle into a routine where you're basically living separate parallel lives. You no longer want to go out of your way to try to woo your partner and you're more concerned about you know, your day-to-day -day activities. Perhaps you've also started to focus on the negative aspects of your relationship and you find yourself fighting over the same things over and over again. So that is what the seven-year itch is. You're doubting, is this the right person for you? Do you want to continue to be together or are you better off on your own? One of our core beliefs and principles with Happily Committed and why we started this project is because we believe that love has many seasons and jumping ship when the going gets tough can be the equivalent of shooting yourself in the foot. You will regret your decision. You have to find ways to rebuild a more positive and happy relationship in order to deepen the love that you have with your significant other. So, what can you do to rebuild a more stable, fulfilling relationship or marriage? First, you have to take accountability. Don't blame your partner or your significant other for the shortcoming that has transpired in this relationship. You need to be able to look in the mirror and see where you yourself faltered. You can only change yourself and you can only inspire your partner to change as well once you start to make the necessary changes to be truly happy and to give your relationship a kickstart, a new beginning. I would like for you to focus on trying to connect to what your partner really truly values and enjoys doing. Perhaps you can really focus on doing a new mutual activity each and every week, whether it's something totally new or something that your partner has decided to take on but that you've kind of stayed on the sidelines for that will help you reconnect and bond again. Second, it's important for you to look for quality attributes in your partner. After a while, we have a tendency as human beings to take other people for granted or to take the things that we have for granted. And what truly inspired you at the beginning of the relationship or the marriage may now not be so exciting. But you cannot take what you have for granted. The key to happiness in relationships is to be grateful and is to be able to value what you have. So constantly on a daily basis, seek to see the good in your significant other and not to only focus on the negative aspects of their personality. Third, it's important for you to also take time to reconnect on an intimate basis or in an intimate way. Force yourself if need be. Put reminders in your calendars to have quiet, intimate time. You need to be able to remind yourself to touch your partner, to hug them, and so that you guys feel connected and can bounce into a new level of intimacy. Also, it's important for you to really truly let go of this dream of the perfect relationship. Every relationship has its shortcomings, but also its quality attributes. There's a reason why you guys picked each other. And the grass always seems greener on the other side. The perfect relationship does not exist. 
you can make this relationship perfect for you. And that is your challenge. Lastly, I highly encourage you to do some sort of service activity together. If you can find a cause that is greater than yourself, your own needs, or your couple's desires, if you together can try to help out in your community or your family or friends that need support, you will find that working together will reinforce this bond that you've built over the last seven or so years. Ultimately, we at Happily Committed have created tons of resources to help support you during these troubling times. If you need support, come on our website at Happily Committed and you will find different programs, articles, and tools that can really, really help get you over the hump. Ultimately, a relationship or a marriage is like a garden and we need to constantly and continuously nurture that garden in order to reap the fruits and the rewards. And at Appley Committed, we are here to help you in that process. So join the movement, like this video if you enjoyed it, subscribe to our channel to get more tips on a daily basis to help empower you in your relationship, and keep fighting the good fight. See you soon.